Okay, okay, this is what he's saying. This is what he's saying. He's saying the law shows us like a mirror our problems, but the law apart from the mirror, which comes through faith in Jesus, fixes those problems. When God extends that grace to us and we believe in the Son of God, it allows us to comb our hair, to wash our face, to uh, iron our clothes, right? We see the problem and now we have a solution to the problem. God may know the issue of sin that we all fall under and then he provided a way to remedy the problem. Feel me? So that's what he's talking about here. Now, why are we even discussing this? I want to say we're discussing this because too many of us fall in the category where we are still believing what the mirror says instead of what God says. Does that make sense? Like we still believe what we saw in the mirror, even though we have walked away from the mirror now and have been washed clean. We still have the image of what was in the mirror, and that is what's shaping our course of life. That is what's shaping our future. That is what is buried in our heart because of what we have saw. Now, how do I explain this to you? I'm going to do it very simply by um, showing you how easily this happens to a man, right? So I'm going to tell you about a young man um, that I know personally. And he was born back in the day when the culture was just a little bit different, right? So he was born to a woman that was out of wedlock when she got pregnant. And that was a big deal back in that time. Not so much now, the culture has changed a little bit, but back then it was a big deal. And he got labeled for that, right? It's called a bastard, that's what it is. And the kids at school knew about it and they ridiculed him for it. And every day he went to school, he had to hear about it. That was the nickname they taught him with, right? And you know how cruel kids can be, but it didn't stop at the schoolhouse. Cause when he came home, Daddy wasn't around, so a stepdad was in the picture. Well, stepdaddy was a little bit harsh with it. I'm talking he was just like not a good man, evidently. Because this little kid would be playing on the sidewalk. And the stepdad would walk home into the gate, coming to the house. He's got his little toys in the front yard playing on the sidewalk. I'm talking six, seven years old. Stepdad would walk by, kick him out the way, and say, move you little bastard. Now, I'm just being real with you. Maybe a little like, oh, you shouldn't be saying that. But I'm telling you the reality of how this happens. Because he is being told right then and there who he is and what he's worth. And you know what that does to a five, six, seven year old? It sinks into that heart. And all his life, that holds on to it. And his reality is what he has um, been viewed from, from way back when, even though it's not the truth of it. Does this make sense? He held on to that identity far too long in his life and it affected every phase of his life now was it true at one time it was but at some point he stopped being that right and he grew up into a man and he was a different creation and that's what god is trying to show you he's like this is where you start but you ain't got a dad like that i ain't putting you down i know the world will put it into you i know that devil will come and lie against you and twist those thoughts in you because some of you know exactly what i'm talking about when i relate this story to you because you ain't ever had a hand up or a hand out you've always been kicked down you are thinking to yourself that you are the least of these you can't even raise your head because you scared of what's coming through the gate this world ain't ever giving you anything good. You ain't walking through the door of a church because all you know is being beat down left and right. Telling, um, someone telling you that you ain't good, that you worse, that you um, a sinner, right? And we wonder why the church house is empty. Listen to me. That should be the first place you run. Why? Because apart from the law, apart from all of that, there is grace.